NATO will significantly increase its high readiness forces from 40,000 air, land and sea troops to more than 300,000. The announcement comes as G7 leaders met in Germany to discuss what can be done to curb Vladimir Putin's aggression. As the skies darkened over this summit, so did the mood, with the news from Kremenchuk and a sombre assessment from Ukraine's leader. President Zelensky told the G7 his country urgently needs more help. They look relaxed, but their mission here is deadly serious, maintaining unity five months into this war. A smiling prime minister has left his domestic troubles at home, but also knows he's winning the argument with France and Germany that now is not the time to negotiate with Putin. There is no deal that uh, the President Zelensky can, can really do. So in those circumstances, the G7 uh, supporters of Ukraine around the world have to continue to, to help the Ukrainians to, to rebuild uh, their economy, to get their grain out, to export their grain. And of course, uh, we have to help them to protect themselves. <laughs> As G7 leaders joined others from developing nations for a family photo, one of the biggest changes in the Western alliance in years was announced elsewhere. We will transform the NATO response force and increase the number of our high readiness forces to well over 300,000. Together, this constitutes the biggest overhaul of our collective defence and deterrence since the Cold War.